30 years ago, it was another stormy summer day across the area, but one storm would drop a tornado that went right through Waynesboro. And with a look back at that day, here's Chief Meteorologist Aubrey Urbanowitz. It lasted like maybe a minute, but it seemed like a really long time. Donna Andrews and her husband were driving to the Eagle's Nest Airport on June 10th, 1995. It was his 40th birthday, and for his 40th birthday, I had booked us a flight to fly over where we live. And the flight was going to be a surprise. We were on our way to Waynesboro. He didn't know what we were doing, and as we pulled into the airport, he said, I hope you're not taking me on an airplane ride. And driving down through there, and we looked up and we could see the funnel, and you saw all the debris in the funnel. This is the photo they took as they got to the airport. You can see the funnel behind the plane. We heard the guy saying, it's here, it's here now. And they got up and ran and we just looked and the wind was blowing. and. Really, I didn't know what to do, and we just sat until we could tell that, you know, that was gone, that funnel was gone. This is Eagle's Nest Airport in Waynesboro, and this is where the tornado started. In fact, it formed at the very south end of the runway, and the storm moved to the southeast. And the reason why it was moving in that direction is because two cells merged together, which led to the rotation. As the storm continued on to the southeast, it moved over the interstate. We had a tractor trailer on the side on the bridge. Uh, from a tornado blowing it over, you know, it was kind of mind boggling. Robert Drumheller with Drumheller's Towing was called out to the interstate with an overturned tractor trailer, all due to the tornado. Did this just really happen? Uh, but obviously, you know, it was obviously obvious that, that it did. And then they got called to the industrial park. Uh, they had a, a crane at Polybond Manufacturing that also got turned over on its side. That crane weighed more than 20 tons. Coiner Springs Park had more than 100 trees clipped or destroyed. And with all the debris around, Donna Andrews said they didn't go back to the airport that day. So now he's 70 and he still hasn't had that airplane ride. He's never had the airplane ride. Oh, no. So he never had the airplane ride, but thankfully no one was injured, but it did leave about $2 million in damage. Now, one thing I did find in our weather center was the old printout of the actual storm survey. This is from the old dot matrix printers. Oh, wow. They don't wow. make them like this anymore. And I framed it. Um, so to see some of the photos now, keep in mind this storm, this was rated an F1 with winds at about 110 miles an hour. Goodness. And I, yeah, that was a pretty powerful storm. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Yeah. I do have a lot of viewer photos. That's going to be on the web story on whsv.com. Give it about 20 minutes or so, and it'll be on the web. But um, just wanted to frame this because Very I mean, neat. it's so detailed and I'll, I'll put this on the web yeah. article. Also. Yeah, please do. That's really cool. I don't yeah. know what I'm more starstruck just by, the fact that we have enough one or that. I found it when we were building the new studio and I was cleaning out oh, the old wow. weather center. So Very, very cool.